Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God on YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is September 10th, 2023. And today's daily scripture reading is found in John chapter 7 verses 16 through 18 and 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. And as always, we are getting started with the index scripture first. So John chapter 7 starting at verse 16 and uh, Jesus, he will be, he's the one who will be speaking. And so Jesus tells us, Jesus answered them and said, my doctrine is not mine, but he who sent me. If anyone wills to do his will, he shall know concerning the doctrine, whether it is from God or whether I speak on my own authority. He who speaks from himself seeks his own glory. But he who seeks the glory of the one who sent him is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Amen. So then on the index card, I have two different questions. Do you seek glory for yourself because you are speaking from yourself? Or do you seek God's glory and will speak what he has taught and showed you, pointing people to him and not you? All right, so now let us go to 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And the word says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Let me go down to verse 15. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to prayer made in this place. Verse 16. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. Verse 17. As for you, if you walk before me as your father David walked and do according to all that I have commanded you, and if you keep my statutes and my judgments, then I will establish the throne of your kingdom as I co covenanted with David, your father, saying, You shall not fail to have a man as ruler in Israel. So again, Let me start at verse 12 and then go to 14. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, will forgive their sin and heal their land. It's very interesting um, because, you know, we use it so many times for what we see going on in the United States and everything. But what was sticking out to me, let me know in the comments, like just rereading this, if my people, so God's people, so we know we are God's people, if we are born again, believers and followers of Jesus Christ, because you know, now we have been reconciled back to God through Jesus's precious blood. And we have, you know, we've been adopted. So now we are sons and daughters. So to me, it's like, we always use this for a land. Yes, America needs to repent. You know, each person needs to humble themselves and repent and, you know, believe upon the Lord. But what was really sticking out, because we hear it all the time, but my people. The Lord said my people twice. So to me, it's almost like us. You know, the people of the the church, us who are born again, like, we need to examine ourselves and like, have we started falling into stuff that has gone against the Lord? 
have we aligned ourselves up with stuff that he does not approve of? It's almost like, you know, too, when Jesus gives a parable, like we need to um, take the plank out of our own eye before we can rightly like tell somebody about themselves. I don't know. You guys give me your thoughts, but when I was rereading this again, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Yes, we know this is dealing with the Israelites. You know, we know the Lord was talking to Solomon, but how can we apply this word to us now? And I feel, you know, this won't apply to everybody, but we know, you know, we have eyes and we see that some Christians have aligned with the views of the world. And if we have aligned, if some have aligned with the views of the world, then that means they have aligned with some of the views of Satan. But so many times it's like, that's how he can easily start to deceive. So, I don't know. I'm not going to keep going on. But that really, when I was reading it, really struck me. Tell me what you guys think. And if it spoke to you in a different way than what we've always heard it. All right, you all. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night. Whenever you come across this video, God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.